Welcome to this presentation of the program Glaze Master. Glaze Master is the most advanced software for the ceramic calculation and it is one of the plugins of the software package TileMaster Pro 32. Glaze Master can also work as a standalone application using a part of the TileMaster database. Glaze Master needs all the information about oxides and raw materials which will be saved in the TileMaster database. The heart of the calculations performed by TileMaster Pro 32 is the relational database, which contains all the data sheet of the raw materials of the semi-manufactured products like glazes and bodies and the finished products. The raw material data sheet can save a lot of information, but GlazeMaster needs only the data about chemical composition and cost. All the other information can be considered as accessories. On the access window of Glaze Master, we can select three different calculation programs. The calculation of the chemical composition starting from the raw material formulation, the calculation of the formulation of raw materials starting from the chemical composition, or the calculation of the different ceramic coefficient starting from the oxide composition. Let's start with the first calculation, which exacts the chemical composition starting from the raw material formulation. The starting page of the ceramic calculation looks like a spreadsheet, with on the left the raw materials and on the right the chemical composition. It is possible to write directly the formula or import the formula from the semi-manufactured product database or from a test database. In this case, we imported the formula of a crystal glaze from the test database. The result appears on the left page once the input is completed. The chemical composition is shown in all the possible ways, in the raw, in the fired, in the molar percentage or in sigur percentage, and even as a number of atoms, excluding the oxygen. Note the percentage of iron oxide in this formulation is 0.77 and the cost is 458.7. The second page of the results shows the contribution of each raw material to the final composition. It is then possible to search which is the raw material that is bringing in unwanted oxide, like the chromophores oxides. Note the percentage of iron oxide in this formulation is 0.77 and the cost is 458.7. The third page of the results shows the contribution of each oxide to the properties of the glass, like thermal expansion, surface tension and refractive index. The fourth page of the results resumes the total coefficients of this formula. Clicking with the right button of the mouse on the left part of the screen, it is possible to check the chemical composition of all the raw materials in the formula. This is the result of the previous selection, which shows the properties of all the raw materials used in the original formulation. From the sheet of the first calculation procedure, it is possible to go to the second calculation program, which will allow to achieve the same chemical composition using different raw materials. It is enough to click on the reformulation button, which is here highlighted in red. The chemical composition, which was on the right part of the sheet, is now on the left part of the sheet, and it will be used as input to calculate a new formula of raw materials. The program will search for the best formula that will satisfy all the constraints. In order to do so, the system uses an optimization algorithm which needs a little tolerance to be able to work. For this reason, on each oxide there will be applied a tolerance interval, which is highlighted in green. The application of a small tolerance does not give a visible result on the oxides which are present in a very low quantity, which are highlighted in red. This is a paradox, because the algorithm will try to exactly match the quantities of the impurities because the two limits are identical. 
For this reason, there is a function which automatically introduces a gap of two digits between the minimum and the maximum if the tolerant it is too low. This function is highlighted in red and it becomes active clicking on the checkbox. Here we can see the result of the application of this function which gives to the optimization algorithm a little margin on all the sides. One of the raw materials in the original formulation contained water as a volatile element. It is always advisable to remove the volatile elements from the formulation because otherwise the program will try to match also this quantity. They can be kept as a constraint if they are relevant for the final result. Once the water is taken away, it is better to modify the limits on the impurities. For example, the original composition had 0.77 of iron, but we can search for lower or slightly higher amount of iron. The program allows to set asymmetrical constraints. Now that the target composition is set, we can select the raw material to be used for the calculation of the raw material formula. In this case, we select to use all the raw materials available in this database, which are more than 800. Of course, the ha this has no practical use, but it is only a demonstration that Blaze Master can handle more raw materials that you ever need to use. Now we see on the right a small part of the list of all the raw materials, and on the left we highlight the objective function. The program chooses as default the minimization of the cost, but we can modify the target to search for minimum or maximum amount of any oxide or raw material. This is the result of the optimization calculation. Only the raw material actually used are shown. The cost of this formula is 351.8, while the cost of the original one was 458.7. This is mathematically the lowest possible cost of any possible batch which satisfies all the constraints on the composition that we have set. Now we verify the chemical composition of this formulation in the fourth pages of the results. As expected, all the oxides fall between the constraints, but the iron is quite higher than the original composition. Now it is 0.175 while before was 0.077. This is the result of the fact that we enlarged the constraint on iron oxide up to 